lads, please, 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 please. Can we can we just have a week, a a day? A 25 minute period without some kind of foolishness. I realize you lot at home may have already seen the story that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. I will be explaining it for those that haven't, but you know when it just takes like a few hours for you to just like really deep what somebody's done. It's been a difficult few weeks. It's actually been a difficult year, really. Last 12 months for football, from the Roman Molina leaks to Benjamin Mendy, from Mason Greenwood, obviously, last week, to now Kurt Zuma, this time around. For those that aren't aware, um, a video was leaked by an, a publication that is, I mean, I'm not even gonna name them because they're terrible as well. But a total of three videos from Kurt Zuma's household have been leaked, like, during the last 24 hours. And they revolve around his mistreatment of his pets. I'm not gonna show them in this video because they're a little bit crazy. They do exist on social media, so if you do want to seek them out, then, you know, you can you can view them there, but I won't be showing them in this video. The first one, really, is the one that's been viewed the most, and is kind of most synonymous with this entire story. Uh, and basically, uh, to cut a long story short, in the video that's being filmed by his brother, Johan Zuma, who's also a professional footballer, uh, he used to play for Bolton, I think, um, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he used to play for Bolton down in the lower leagues. It's being filmed by his brother, and I think there's other friends of the family around that seem to think this is absolutely calm, this behaviour, which it clearly isn't. And basically, Kurt Zuma's holding his cat, and, for want of a better phrase, just volleys his cat across the kitchen. Now, what- why would you even- what even drives you to do that? I don't actually understand. But yeah, he literally just kicks the cat. Like, not absolute full- potential force, but with enough force to, for, to send the cat to the other side of the kitchen floor. I just, I, I've lost the will to live, honestly. It's, it's unacceptable, really. I think there's a, there's a second one then where he's chasing the cat around and tries throwing a slipper at it. Then there's a third video where a kid tries to put um, the cat onto like a kitchen surface and he bats the cat away. All the captions are like crying laughing emojis, so clearly everybody in the household thinks that it's a funny thing to do. He said that it was a completely isolated incident in his statement that he brought out afterwards, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know, as, as a human being, first of all, why you would want to do this at all, but also be just where you separate the lines between this being an isolated incident and something that happens all the time. Like, why would you wake up on one specific day and think that it's acceptable to kick your cat and then not on other days? It's either something that, as a normal person, you would understand you should never ever do in any situation, or surely you would be wired to think that's an acceptable thing to do all of the time. And, like, it is quite distressing. As, as a cat owner myself, I, I do wonder why you would ever think that that's an acceptable thing to do. Realistically, I mean, I, I, if I'm gonna be honest with you, it's only happened in the last 24 hours. I don't know what West Ham should do with him. Uh, to be honest, he does deserve, like, a serious level of punishment. I know the police aren't gonna look into it, which... To be honest, he's dumb because there are there are animal cruelty laws that this definitely falls under. Like, it'll have been on the screen, but they definitely have reason and cause to actually investigate this as an actual crime, but are choosing not to. I mean, I guess they've got a lot of other things to be dealing with, including their own corruption, but we'll carry on from that. What I would like to see in the immediate future, though, is all of his pets taken off him and rehomed, because they're clearly, like, regardless of what he said and that it's not gonna happen again, it's not a... A, re a reoccurring theme. I don't care if you're fil if you're willing to have yourself filmed kicking your cat about, then you you shouldn't own any kind of pet. So immediately rehome the pets, take them off him. I think he's going to be doing some kind of course, some kind of educational course. Uh, to why would you need an educational course? to know that this is not something you should do. And whilst, look, I'm sure most footballers are sound. I've met a few footballers in my time and they seem pretty calm, like from a surface level. I think this is definitely showing just, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a wider aspect than just footballing icons, but why young people especially should not be encouraged to idolize and blindly follow everything a certain celebrity does. Whether it be in the football sphere, whether it be in any other sporting sphere, whether it be actors, actresses, Whatever type of celebrity, even the ones that are on Celebs Go Dating that you've seen on TV for a collective three and a half minutes. I think we should be teaching kids, as I said, not to just blindly follow whatever, you know, their 
their potential heroes do, which I know is a, a very difficult thing to do, but in this age of social media where kids can jump on Twitter aged like nine and see anything that anybody does and maybe shape their opinions based on those videos or based on whatever's happening in the news right now, they've got impressionable minds and may not understand that this is wrong, for example. I'd like to imagine that they would understand that it's wrong, but you know, if you, if you catch your hero at that sort of age doing something that's even remotely questionable, you might just bypass whether it's questionable at all because, oh, your hero is doing it. I mean, that's a deeper societal issue, realistically, and to do with social media as well, but it's definitely something that needs to be looked into to. In this certain situation, I mean, yeah, definitely suspend Kurt Zuma at this point because there is absolutely no excusing animal cruelty of any kind whatsoever. And if you do yourself want to learn a little bit more about how you can help with organizations that deal with this sort of animal cruelty, then once again, as I did with the, the Greenwood video, there's some useful links down in the description below to either help educate if you feel like that's something that uh, would be helpful for you or just generally donate to certain charities that deal with this specific field but yeah if footballers could stop being fools that would be very much appreciated i hope this video has been at least somewhat informational and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next one adios